Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you how we can type in or on a shape, which is it could be really advantageous if you're building a logo or if you're going for a specific design. So the first thing we have to do is grab our shape tool. So as you guys may know, we have the rectangle, round rectangle, ellipse, polygon, line, and custom shape. Just for the start, I'm going to select the circle, make sure that we have it on path, create a big circle right in the middle, and then we select our type tool. This is your standard horizontal type tool. And then when you come along the path, you can see that you get this wavy line and that actually indicates that you are now, that it recognizes that you're on the path and then we can start typing. So we can throw in some text, just hitting the keyboard. Now what we can do is actually select this text and open up our characters panel. And here we can edit the text just, we, just as we would if we were creating a block text paragraph. Change the font. We can change the size of it. So as you can see, it's gonna to start to wrap around a little more. Let's have a look at that. How about we change the color, make it more of a red. Perfect. Now let's say you want to make the text quite large and then kind of squish together a bit. So now we kind of have this overflowy type of text. This almost reminds me of something on Lord of the Rings. We can use all of the character attributes and properties as you would normally. Another great thing that we can do, let's let me delete this. So with the text deleted, now if we write something new, say, hello world, I still have it kind of squished, so let's make it so it's something that we can actually read. Perfect. I can grab the direct select tool and bring the text in so now it's on the inside, and then I can move it around. So maybe I just want it right at the bottom. And sometimes you just have to play around with it to get it right. So now we have our U-shape Hello Worlds. You notice that because it is a path, it won't show up. It is just there just to guide the typography. So we can delete this. And then we're going to do a square now. So the same thing, we use our shape tool and build the path. Here we go. And then we grab our type tool and we gotta wait for that curvy line. So here it's on the inside. Here it's on the outside, but now it's actually going to follow. Let's say, hello, this is a square. Grab the direct select tool. Let's actually put it on the inside. Move it around so you can see. Looks a little squish there, so we're going to grab our type tool, select it all. It's going to spread out the letters a bit. Maybe a little more. And again, sometimes you just have to play around with it just to make it look right. So now that you click out of it and you can see, hello, this is a square. A really great tool is the typography and the path shape tool. So I highly recommend you guys play around with it, see what you guys like, see what uh, would look really good. 
So now the other trick that I want to show you is if you don't want to type on the path, but you actually want to type within the path, we can select polygon. Let's go, we have five sides. So it's going to be a hexagon. Bring this guy to the middle. And then we select our type tool. If we select on the outside or on the line, on the line will cause us to type along it. But if you see that my icon is a circle, now I can type within it. So I'm just typing some random letters. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And I could keep going. This is a paragraph. And these are words. And it will stay within the path that is preset by us. So another cool way, if we're looking to design um, a specific layout, maybe it's for a poster, maybe it's for a logo, there's another tool in our bag of tricks. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.